like spicy cat jams and no don't adjust your settings don't do a double take i'm doing the half and half lippy again i'm gonna start a new trend okay i'm not because i'm not trendy but i'm here to do my product review of my ten dollar a month beauty battle beauty face off between ipsy and sephora play and i received lippies in both so normally when i'm filming i'm wearing the lippy that i received well i didn't want to like stop wash it off i decided we're gonna do half and half sometimes they're close enough you can't tell <laughs> this time you should be able to tell so give you a better idea if it looks good on me or not. I'm going to do this the same way I did last month. I had a lot of positive response because some of you just want to see the products and hear the reviews. If you're familiar with how the system works, that's going to, or I'll say that at the end so you can, you know, see the reviews, then leave. Again, there will be links directly in the description box that'll take you right to the Ipsy and Sephora pieces. So let's dive into the products. And first we'll do Sephora Play. This was their bag this month. Feel the love. It was for Valentine's. Um, Sephora Play has six products. So let's dive in. First, let's talk about the lippy. This is their own Sephora brand. It is their Rouge Matte Lippy. And it was in the color Rebel Chic, I do believe. Yes, Rebel Chic Matte M11. One little complaint, and I didn't bother to um, notify them because whatever, but I think people did and they like got points or something. It received smushed. I mean, obviously I've used it. So I don't know if you can tell that end there was smushed up against like it had been overextended in the tube. So that was no fun. So that's this side right here is my Rebel Chic side. I like it because it's a red, but it's more of a burgundy, and I'm not a true red lippy type of gal, so um, I do like it. I think I've tried, I don't know if I've tried their matte before, but um, I'm overall pleased with the Sephora lipstick, so that was an okay. Then we received a eye moisturizer, moisturizing eye balm from Belief, nice little... Um, sample size it's a very thick cream I've been using it you can see there's still quite a bit in there but as with most eye creams it doesn't take much so you can I think apply it night day whenever and I'll keep using it till it's gone I don't know enough that like I said most face moisturizers or um, like eye creams as long as they're not greasy or make me break out or anything like that I don't see any like wild crazy changes so i i mean i like it and i'll use it would i buy it probably not um this was the i think i'm missing one thing i am but i'll explain it to you so here was our freebie sample this month it is the chloe signature brand brand little perfume sampler at first it smells okay once it kind of settles in when i first sprayed it i thought it smelled like mosquito spray it took me back to being a kid in the summer at the lake Smell, smelled like a deep woods off, but it doesn't anymore. Like I said, kind of mellows out. The item I am <laughs> missing, I'll just insert a little picture of it. It is a cleanser and I absolutely love it. It's a green tea cleansing balm from pharmacy. Now I have not used a cleanser this way before. It probably seems to me most similar to like a coconut oil which i have used but it's a lot softer so it, you're able to like put your finger in and scoop some out or use a, a paddle or something to get it out and whereas like coconut oil you kind of got to squeeze once it's in a solid state but it doesn't like liquefy either and oh my gosh it feels great it is not heavy it removes the makeup breaks it down eye makeup um lipstick here's a picture of a lipstick that um i've probably had it on in a video i got it in a sephora haul recently and i could not get it off what i was trying it was pretty comical <laughs> and this took it right off so i absolutely love this love the consistency and i would maybe consider buying that full size and we got this was okay so my two down things about sephora this month is i realized it was for the valentine's box and that's all about love and smooching and lips i guess they sent two lip products now if it had been like a lip scrub something like that plus the lipstick i wouldn't be as annoyed but this is basically just another lip 
well, it's not a lipstick. It is a lip balm. So um, I just, I didn't like that. I thought the packaging though was great and the product itself I like. It's just, I didn't like that Sephora sent us two lip products. Um, so yeah, it's a very heavy duty packaging for this size. It looks like it's really colored, but it's not. It's actually um, a lip balm with SPF. It gives you a little bit of a color and that would be why it's rosé, I believe is the color. Um, but it has SPF 15 and so it's a tinted lip treatment goes on very smooth I do enjoy it very much this I love this product what I do not love it is a Laura Mercier eyeshadow caviar caviar eye stick I love this product and they sent it to me before they sent it to me sorry gotta look at my notes um, November 2016 Okay, I know, it's not their fault that I've been a long time subscriber, but what they need, what all beauty people do, beauty subscriptions, I wish they would do, if you're gonna send me a repeat of a product, put it in a different color. This was exactly the same color. I already have this. I have not used it up because it takes flipping forever. And this one specifically is kind of a goldie, so I would just use it as an inner corner. Um, so, big disappointment this month with um, Sephora on that. That was, again, those are my cons, but for the most part, loved the products. Okay, one thing I wanna show you before I, I get into the products for the February Ipsy is an item I purchased. Now this is, they have like, I don't know if it's Ipsy deals or like a, a shop, but they have discounts on products depending on the brands they're working with. They could be brands in the boxes, bags, I'm sorry, um, whichever, but occasionally I pop out there and look at it. You can get some really good deals on full size product. And they had this set, it was a color switch, and it came with this double ended, dual ended makeup brush and the color switch, which is just a simple little scrubby thing it's been used, you can see, that once you like apply your eyeshadow, say you wanna switch colors, you don't have a different brush, you don't wanna wash it, you just take your brush you just finished using, rub it on there, the powder magically falls off, and then you can use it in the next color. So absolutely love it, this just comes right out so you can wash it, and there you go. I think it's genius. So that is something I recently purchased this past month through Ipsy. So the February Ipsy Glam Bag looks like this, kind of pink and lacy for Valentine's. It's kind of their classic zipper pull. Sometimes these are fun and unique, that's why I show them. I don't know if it's like a suede, I don't know the fabric. Um, it's It catches fuzzes though, mine's kind of dirty and has caught cat hair and stuff. It's black on the inside. They had um, five products from Ipsy, but I actually, there were seven. So I love getting face masks in my Ipsy, sheet masks specifically. I received two of these. Now this was, it's from BioBell and it's supposed to be a prep the skin like as for primer. So um, you're supposed to like use it before you put on your makeup. Now I did, couldn't tell a difference. And besides, I am I like doing sheet masks more at the end of the day, kind of as a relaxing thing. So it kind of like moisturized and stuff. I don't know that it actually, there was any difference as far as priming my face for um, makeup. So, eh. But hey, I'll take two sheet masks. This is the lippy I received from Ipsy this month. It is from the brand Mellow. It is a liquid lipstick and it is in the color Tehran. And it's the one on this side. How distracting is this? No, don't tell me. <laughs> I know it's distracting, but it's this side. So this is very much a typical color I receive. Um, almost natural lipped, a little bit eh, more mauvey. It um, doesn't completely erase like my natural color, but you can see. I mean, it looks like I have lipstick here and not there. I still just keep, I keep looking at myself. Anyway, so um, I liked it. I like the formula. It is called a liquid lip paint matte. It is, it dries down to matte. It doesn't, it's not very drying. I've worn it um, a few times over the past month, tested it out. I liked it. Transfer proof. Now let's do both transfer. <laughs> Look at that mouth. Um, could be because I didn't blot. I almost need to do a second one, don't I? Okay, so that was the first. Cleaned off my mouth. Oh, let's do it on the dry side. 
And I know they both still transfer. So I was, I think that's important because a lot of us don't like transfer. So those were those two products. Um, this is a product I did not try and use. I have received the eyeshadow from Marsk before, um, but it is in a color that is not at all me. Let's see, it's kind of this silver gray. It's called Foiled Again. It's very silvery. Um, yeah, not a color I wear. And as I've said before, I really do not like loose um, powdered products of any sort, especially eyeshadows. So I didn't open this. I will gift it to a friend, though, that does like this color of eyeshadow. From what, the other one I've tried of this brand, um, it was good as far as pigmentation and all that. So for a, a product overall, it's fine. It's just not for me. Then there's two other items I received. I got a... Um, from It Cosmetics, this was the packaging. It's their Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, anti-aging waterproof concealer, full coverage. And it came in the tube like this. It is in the color light, ultra fair, which is perfect for me. Here's what I can tell you. I have used It, it Cosmetics um, eyeshadows, I think maybe before, or I don't know, I've used other of their products and impressed. This is like spackle. I mean, if you are looking for a good concealer, I think this is it. I used it, um, a little goes a very long way. The first time I tried it, I put, you know, what I thought was fine to like dab for under eyes and then I usually put concealer over kind of my cheeks because I get a ruddiness. It was like almost, by the time I could get it all blended out, it was like I had a full um, foundation. <laughs> It, w it was it was just too much product I'd put on there. So start very, very small and work your way. Uh, but very good as a concealer. Very much covers completely. Um, so yeah, if you need a concealer, I thought this was a good one. It wore relatively well. Under the eye is always tricky because it just, everything seems to kind of settle into fine lines. So yeah. But I liked it. And then I love when I get a brush. And here is a Luxie brush. Dual ended. Used that a few times. And loved it. So there were my products for this month. And as far as um, which one I liked better. I am going to say this month for me it's Sephora. Sephora is the winner. Um, yeah. The only thing... I didn't like, I mean, I think the, that cleanser put it over the top. Didn't like it in dual lippies, but they were both good. Um, and I didn't like it in a repeat color, but it is still a good product. Ipsy, just because I know the eyeshadow, and I know I've told them in my comments I don't want loose product or loose powder products. And the sheet mask, while it's nice, it certainly doesn't live up to what it says it should do. So both were very good boxes, bags this month, so I was very happy with them. But as a whole... Sephora Play is my winner. So thanks for watching that part. If you would like to continue listening, I'll just give you a brief rundown of how these work. Um, everybody is new at some time, so that's why I always add this in. As I mentioned, both are $10 a month beauty subscriptions. Sephora Play, you will be charged tax. Ipsy is a straight $10. I do have a referral link for Ipsy in my description bar down below. If you were to use that, I would get some points to shop in their in their points reward system. Um, you do not need a referral. The referral doesn't even really matter because both will say they have a wait list. So if you have a referral or not, it doesn't matter. I like to be honest with everybody. So um, Sephora Play at this point doesn't have a referral program. When you purchase on Sephora Play, you earn points with your Sephora account. So as long as you set up like your Beauty Insider account, you will earn points for every dollar you spend. So every month you'll get I think it's 100 points for $10. Or is it 10? I don't know. I don't shop there enough. Um, Ipsy, you earn your reward points by doing reviews. Both come with bags. Um, Sephora Play does these drawstring style. Ipsy has more what I consider traditional makeup bag style. And they will give you five products almost all deluxe or sample sized. If you get a full size, I think that's an awesome bonus. And Sephora Play does include an extra as a bonus. So it used to always be perfume. They have been switching it up now. Both come with an insert. Ipsy's is absolutely pointless. 
this was <laughs> unzipped was the theme this month i think it's nothing i'd rather have product information um sephora play has the poflet that is the word i came up with which is a poster slash pamphlet and it will tell you about the product it does not give any values it just kind of tells you about the brand why you like it how to use it um that kind of thing and they will also have a play pass which if you take this into a sephora store the month that you receive it and make a purchase you will get an additional 50 points into your beauty account there you go that's how they work I am always on the search for my bag twin, which I mean, did you get all the same products as me and Ipsy? Ipsy has such a wide variety of products. Um, it's pretty rare that two people would get the same, no matter how you have your profile set up. Um, Sephora has been adding on. They started out with just like one box and they've increased to like three variations. I think they're almost up to like 10 different variations. So uh, always check your account on both of them and regularly review your profile. Sometimes they'll add in new questions and you may not know about it skew your profile to match what you want if you want mostly skincare you know rank that kind of stuff high um, if you want fun trendy makeup usually you need to say you're a lot younger than I am uh, that would be true <laughs> and do for ipsy do your reviews there's a lot of debate whether doing that makes a difference I can tell you personally but I have been with them for over two years that other than the occasional loose powder they really do listen and they take that feedback so um, that's the scoop I, I know some people have complained but just maybe if you're still new and you know you're still getting into the system if you've done it a few months and you haven't seen a change after you've done your reviews I mean I don't work for them but I would think it's mostly just because they don't have enough information yet so and anyway, I'm not gonna sit and defend Ipsy <laughs> okay I love them both. I plan on keeping them both. <sighs> there you go. My typical 20 minute review on bagging. And it's probably, who knows, you, the, I haven't been receiving my boxes, my bags, I don't even know what to say, how to say them, until later in the month now. So even though this was like the February um, product reviews, I didn't get them until after the 15th. Specifically Sephora Play usually is later. So. That's why my videos are always late. You guys know that if you're still here. If you're still here, I used to hanging out because you need to be reminded of something. <sighs> That's okay. I need to hear it every now and then too. I do appreciate that you have taken time out of your day to spend with me. That means more than you know. And no matter what challenges you're facing in life right now, please know you matter you do make a difference you make the world better don't let the crummy stuff get you down it's springtime there's spring spring showers which can be a little depressing but then there's going to be spring flowers so you are the bright beautiful flowers blooming well that might be blooming in my world right now we still have snow but you know what i mean basically you are an important person you are beautiful without any of this makeup stuff and you are valued. Thank you. I hope to see you guys again soon. Goodbye for now.